Good morning. This is Seed of Word in Ministry, and I am Ometa. This is the type of music I listen to after my husband goes to work. That quiet time that I spend with the Lord to get my scattered brain back together. I want to talk today about a scattered mind has no peace. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, no other help we know. If you withdraw yourself from us, where will we go? We we'll turn to you, the author and finisher of our faith, our present help in times of trouble. You are our bridge. So this morning, I want to talk about a scattered mind has no peace. Amen. Wasn't that a beautiful song? Peace like a river that flows from the mountain and flows to the valley. Amen. This peace was a promise. I like when I find new perspectives when it comes from the word of God. Sometimes I know you would probably agree with me and say, I read that before, but something happened this time I read it. The words, his peace. These two words changed my mind about peace. And then the next thoughts was that past understanding. Looking at the life of Christ, we could see such calming peace that was always with him, except when he had to get those money changes out of the temple. But most of the time we saw or read and could feel the peace that he had. I realized it was because he was always focused. His mind was not scattered. He remained focused from age 13, we can see, when he was preaching in the temple when he was supposed to be with his parents, up until he was on the cross and signed over Mary to John. He was focused, unscattered. 
Well, we can say that he didn't have a TV or a cell phone or messages or laptops or marriage, but he had those who were never satisfied. He had those who hated him. He had those who were trying to kill him and demons that was talking to him, but he was not scattered in his mind. He had a purpose for coming, and that purpose he kept up front no matter what went on around him. He was not scattered in mind. How many remember the words that is depicted in the Bible that Jesus said, My peace I will give you. In case you have not read it or heard it or remember it, let's look at John 14, 27. Peace. I leave with you my peace I give to you not as the world gives do I give unto you let your let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid what comforting words in times of trouble to read for us to not let our heart be troubled and never let it be afraid my peace I give he could only give what the Father had given him. He said, follow peace as much as lies in you. Jesus made it clear that this peace was different. In Isaiah, it says he is the Prince of Peace in Isaiah 53. In my daily devotion, it was shared. Peace was a promise from long ago. I said, you know what? I want that peace. When I do my devotions in the morning, I'm calming myself. I'm centering on him and trying to receive that peace that was sang in that song, daily he gives us peace. When I remember the promises of God that they are yes and amen, that makes peace in my soul. Second Corinthians 1 and 20 says, for all the promises of God are yes, and amen and in him they are found god to god be the glory that if you have jesus christ and accepted him peace came with him so what i want is his peace so i pray god give us this peace that you promised before amen the foundation of the earth I began to look in the scripture for, uh, in the Bible for scriptures that were all about peace, that mentioned peace. And I found Philippians 4 and 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds, uh oh, through Christ Jesus. Jesus' peace will guard your heart and your mind, but you have to keep focus on Him. Oh, we can do that. We can think on him all day long in between things that we do. We can get a focus of God. The scripture also states it through, it is through Jesus Christ. I can remember when the kids were small and, and they were getting on my nerves. And I remember saying, God, remind me that I asked for these kids. And an overwhelming peace would come upon me. <laughs> Amen. It is the peace that passes all understanding. When my kids are all gathered together here and they're all over the house and they're, they're talking and they're in their little groups. And I'm sitting and listening to the sounds of their voices and their laughter as they are talking and sharing and eating. And I'm thinking to myself. This is peace. Peace in knowing that they're all here. They all know you. They're all trying to live right. They're focused on going somewhere and doing something. Some are trying to get a car. Some are trying to get a house. Some are planting flowers. And some's just gathering enough peace to go to work. But they are here and alive. And I smile to myself as I sit here and listen. <laughs> Oh, he will keep us in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him. 
because he trusts in you. Isaiah 5 and 7 says, cast all your cares upon him because he cares. God cares. He will always care. In John 16 and 33, it reminds us these things I have spoken to you, that in you, in me, you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. What a wonderful thought to think on during the day, that as things get heavy and pile upon us, that God is right there, present help in a time of trouble. Amen. He has given us some tools to help pull that peace into our mindset and unscatter ourselves from the things of the world. Amen. He's given us prayer. He's given us songs. He's given us praise. Amen. He's given us the TV, <laughs> YouTube, where you can go and look at people sharing the word of God. We can look at people testifying. Amen. You can even look at the this YouTube and hopefully get some comfort and rearrange your mind to think on the things of God. Amen. He said he had overcome the world. Hallelujah. There are things that he went through that we don't even know about, but they were in this present world. Amen. God is good and his mercy is everlasting. Peace that flows from the mountain. Peace that passes all understanding. Peace that comes into the valley. In 2 Thessalonians 3 and 16, it says, Now, hallelujah, I got to throw that one in there. May the Lord of peace, amen. Remember in Isaiah, he was, it was written that he was called the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. So Paul says, Now, may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always in every, every way. The Lord be with you it ends. The Lord be with you all. God is good and worthy to be praised. We need that time along with him, alone with him, so that he can give us an unscattered mind, so the peace of understanding can flow through us. Amen. And that we can be peaceful the rest of the day. Things happen, and in the midst of it, the Holy Spirit can show you something that makes you smile because that's what he does. Peace is like a river flowing from the throne of God. Be aware that COVID is still around and that God has made provision for you. Stay distancing, wear gloves when necessary, and the mask when you know that you should be wearing it. When you know. Work out your own soul salvation with trembling and fear.
Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always in every way. The Lord be with you.